Hi, it's me, Todd Runnebaum, host of Bunny Hugs and Mental Health Podcast. Hey, I just hit a great milestone, 100 episodes, and I just want to thank all my guests and listeners and, and, and sponsors and everybody. Uh, and speaking of guests, I've got a few I'd like to feature right now for you. Uh, back in episode 61, I spoke with Jimmy and Charnay. They were on the amazing television show, the Netflix television show, Love on the Spectrum. If we ever um, come to Canada, you can show us around. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, You'd have to come right. to Saskatchewan, though. And speaking of Netflix, uh, Tara Newell was the real Dirty John killer. Dirty John is a Netflix television show based on her, her and her mom's story. We, we actually had to we had to talk a couple times and you'll see why. And I'm so sorry to ask this, but I'm just I feel like I'm going to throw up right now. So I apologize. I'm not normally throwing up on podcast. <laughs> My mom married a psychopath, didn't know he was a psychopath. Um, she ended up leaving him and coming, he ended up coming after me and attacking me. And I was able to defend myself and get the knife from him, um, from a knife attack basically. And I killed him in self-defense. Back in episode 29, I spoke with Zach Williams. Now, Zach is the eldest son of actor Robin Williams, and we talked about addiction. I would say kind of the, the hardcore alcoholic drinking really came to a head after my dad passed away. Back in episode 43, I spoke with Rodney Norman. Now, you may not know his name, but you'll recognize his face and his voice. Uh, he is the world's worst motivational speaker, and his videos have been shared over 350 million times across social media platforms. Hey, do you have a brain? They're always looking for ways to improve it. Well, if I got uh, good news for you, you should join the, the podcast, uh, Bunny Hugs and Mental Health. Well, your uh, host, Todd, takes you on an adventure. Okay. Bunny Hugs and Mental Health. Go, go check it out. Stuff. Okay. Bye. Another popular guest was Jeremy Hotz back in episode 41. Jeremy is a stand-up comedian. He tours all over the world. He's constantly doing shows, and he suffers from uh, chronic anxiety. Uh, and he even has a little emotional support dog he takes with him on stage. I've not been blessed with the finest uh, psychological advice over the years. They said I went. <laughs> they sent me to a psychiatrist when I was eight years old, and he said I was eating too much ketchup as a child. That was his diagnosis. In episode 54, I spoke with Paul Fluffy Sinclair, and he too is an internet sensation of social media videos and things. He's an Australian fella, and uh, he's just a stand-up dude. Well, a couple of days ago, I got a fucking email from a bloke called Todd Rennerbohm. Now, he's got a fucking podcast called Bunny Hugs and Mental Health, and he fucking sent me an email to see if I'd do a chat with him. Well, I just fucking did today, cunts. An hour and a half, we had a little fucking Zoom chat. And he's going to release our little fucking chat together on his podcast called Bunny Hugs and Mental Health. No, no, cunts, love you. I also spoke with Donna Micheletti back in episode 63. Uh, she's the mother of Gia Alamond, who, who took her life in 2013. Gia was on the television show uh, Bachelor, and so was Donna, actually. And Donna's also been on Dr. Phil. Uh, and they both suffer with PMDD. And she was just the sweetest lady ever. When my daughter, when my daughter passed away, and I, I waited for them to release her to bring her back to New York. And the day she was on a plane to come back, I was on a plane to come back. And I had my plan because I'm a suicide ideation. I'm not staying here without her. I planned my whole suicide. I'm going to give her a beautiful funeral once in something she'd be proud of, and then I'm going to join her. Back in episode 82, I spoke with Ashley Collingbull. She is a former Miss Universe, and she was also a Sports Illustrated swimsuit model. 
My name is Ashley Collingwell. I am a Cree woman from Enoch Cree Nation in Alberta, which is Treaty 6 territory. I feel like, you know, I'm a woman that wears many hats. I try to chase as many dreams as possible. And I think a lot of that stems from the way that I grew up. In episode 77, I spoke with Amy Over. She is a podcast producer and host. Uh, her podcast was Confronting Columbine. She is also, of course, a Columbine High School shooting survivor. I'm sorry, my dog is being so annoying right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ashley, stop. <laughs> yeah, uh, Confronting Columbine was, um, it was a year and a half in the making. And really, um, I got to produce it and help um, facilitate like the direction that it was going in. Um, I didn't want it to be about the perpetrators at all. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted it to be focused on the investigation and other people's journeys. So thank you to all those guests. Thank you to all the other guests. You've all been incredible and amazing. Thank you to all the listeners and all the sponsors. And here's to another hundred more episodes.